What's up my YouTube friends, and welcome to my new video series on topology optimization. In this video series, I will talk about topology optimization from algorithmic development to applications. I am going to teach you topology optimization from a fundamental to a numerical implementation perspective and how to apply the optimization method to real-world engineering problems. I will also discuss things I plan to cover in this video series. Alright, you might ask what topology optimization is. We know the optimization definition from calculus when we deal with minimizing or maximizing a function. When it comes to topology optimization, the main question is why we should care about topology. Let me give you a simple example of converting a coffee cup into a donut. In this simple topology optimization example, we minimize the surface energy where the coffee cup has the maximum surface energy and the donut has the minimum surface energy. You could say how this basic example could be related to the application of topology optimization. Now, let's talk about its application to real-world engineering problems and how we can use topology optimization. For example, in structural mechanics, we use the Ashby chart, which shows the strength of materials versus the density of different types of materials. Let's say you're asking me if topology optimization is the perfect method. Can you give me the lightest material with the highest strength? Let's say this area of the chart. How to design ultralight, high strength material? The answer is yes. Of course, researchers have developed this kind of ultralight, high strength material called micro lattice. Now, the main question is if this micro lattice is an optimal design. What happens to this kind of design when it goes under nonlinearities in structural mechanics, like stiffening or softening under compression or tension, when there is an impact on the structure? or when we have multiple instabilities during the material response, etc. Then, of course, we can extend this topic to include physics like heat transfer, fluid dynamics, and other multi-physics problems. We can see topology optimization recently spans other engineering disciplines. For example, let's say we have Boeing X-51 in WaveRider, then, we could design all components of this complex multi-physics problem at once, or piece by piece. Like the structural design of wings, flow design in turbulent regimes, design under fluid structure interaction, design of stricutered materials under the user-defined constitutive model, and design for conjugate convective heat transfer or heat transfer. You might ask, who am I? My name is Reza. And my research and work background bridges the disciplines of computational mechanics, computational design and topology optimization, computational fluid dynamics, multiscale multiphysics modeling, and software development. This combined capability allows me to understand the fundamental underlying physical phenomena and their interactions through numerical modeling, and use this understanding to design advanced materials, structures, and components for coupled and uncoupled multi-physics systems. Moving forward, I would like to talk a bit about topology optimization details and what I will cover in this video series. Let's start with PDE constrained topology optimization. Let's say we have a problem. It could be structural, heat transfer, fluid dynamics, or coupled multi-physics problems. For this problem, I have identified the governing physics and formulated the mathematical equations to solve the problem. I have also determined constraints associated with this problem, such as manufacturing constraints. Now, I can define the objective for this problem. The objective, for example, in structural mechanics could be minimizing mass, maximizing stiffness, or any objective function related to enhancing performance. Let's put all of these puzzles together. Now, the question is how to solve this problem. This is called the PDE constrained optimization problem, which I will cover in this video series and topology optimization is one kind of PDE constrained optimization problem. If we want to formulate this problem mathematically, it's going to be like this. 
mathematically, we will minimize or maximize the objective function, which is a function of the design variables that I will cover in future videos, and design dependent state variables like displacement, velocity, or pressure. We could have equality or inequality constraints for this topology optimization problem. In the context of topology optimization, we use the nested analysis and design NAND, approach. Therefore, we will have analysis constraints and, of course, box constraints for design variables. Here I just want to point out that in the context of optimization, for a given initial design configuration, if we are interested in the change of only shape, we had to deal with shape optimization. On the other hand, if we are interested in the change of both shape and topology, we will deal with topology optimization. To visually show what topology optimization does, let me give you a simple real-world application example in the area of structural mechanics. I have a 2D cantilever beam fixed on the left edge, and I am applying a point load in the middle on the right. For this beam, I want to minimize the strain energy or maximize the structure's stiffness subject to 50% mass utilization. The question is how to distribute this 50% material inside this cantilever beam to achieve maximized stiffness for the structure. Of course, one could use the traditional approach and put a bunch of holes inside the beam to achieve 50% material usage. But, the question is, for this geometry, does this structure has maximized stiffness? The answer is no because topology optimization has a better solution for this optimization problem. That could give us an optimized design with maximized stiffness or minimized strain energy. Alright, the following subject I will talk about is the tools we need to perform topology optimization. Essentially, we need three main tools for topology optimization. First, we need an optimization module to define objectives, constraints, and search strategy. Then, we need a design module for geometric parametrization and defining design variables. And finally, the analysis module for physical modeling. I am covering the analysis module in my EasyFem video series. The link is somewhere above. I will mainly focus on optimization and design modules for this video series. Here, I am going to give you an overview of design and optimization modules, and we will go into the details in future video series. We use geometric parametrization to track the topological changes during the design evolution. For example, let's say I have a design domain like this with phases A and B and the interface between these two phases. For geometric parametrization, we could use two well-established approaches. The first is the density concept introducing fictitious density to penalize material properties. For example, when I am in phase A, this fictitious density will be 0, 1 in phase B, and creating a blurred design at the interface. The blurred interface is one of the disadvantages of the density concept, which I will discuss in a future video, how to remedy this issue, and how to achieve zero or one binary solution. Another approach is the level set concept that creates a crisp design interface between two phases. However, it has its own computational complexities. Another main topic that I will cover in this video series is sensitivity analysis. I will initially focus on the gradient-based sensitivity analysis that requires less number of design iterations to achieve a feasible solution. However, it requires analytical derivations of the objective and constraints with respect to the design variables. In extended future videos, I will talk about gradient-free design optimization and how we can involve machine learning and deep learning for topology optimization. This is the topology optimization process's big picture and what I will cover in this video series. For finite element process and solving a finite element problem, please visit my separate video series called EasyFem, where I go into the deep implementation details of a finite element problem. Last but not least, I will talk about setting up an optimization problem, implementing the sensitivity analysis, solving the optimization problem, 
and how to update design variables, post-processing, and convergence criteria in topology optimization. All right, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching my videos and supporting the channel. If you haven't, please make sure to subscribe to the channel for upcoming exciting videos and give thumbs up for videos. Looking forward to having you in my next video.